playing around with my fraps this morning. I recorded one of my matches. So I thought I'd just play around with all the audio stuff, trying to see how to make videos on my PC. Played a hunter this morning, and it seems everyone plays hunter. I play at least, I don't know, 80% hunters now because uh, they haven't nerfed, released the hounds yet. So now everybody uses the scavenging hyena, buzzard, release the hounds. So I start hot on this hunter and start dealing the damage early. And I thought, man, I, you know, you can't get any better than a, than a hot start on a hunter. But boy, you're going to see later, he burns it down quick with burst damage. But yeah, I got the old Defias Brotherhood. Uh, a favorite card amongst uh, some players. But I uh, got Lepernome there, who's at least going to give me uh, two damage. He drops down his beast, which that was a good uh, pull for the beast to do a taunt. But uh, I decide just to cancel out my leper gnome since at least he'll get two damage guaranteed and then uh buff the ringleader I feel pretty good you know best thing you can you can see off the start is them having to use their hero ability for at least two turns but that's where he drops the buzzard and I had an idea that it was coming I thought it was gonna come there but he drops a second buzzard so then I knew man something really is coming so this is where, if I was to do something different, this is probably what I would have done different. Because seeing Hunter's Mark also should have cued me that it, it's coming. So I decided to take uh, take some damage with the hero and try to control. But uh, it was just too tempting to keep doing damage to the hero. So I let that one buzzard stay where I probably should have got rid of it. Because I brought him down to 5 health in 4 turns. And that to me was good. I, I figured I'd have enough with uh, weapon damage maybe. There's just more options on the card draw to be able to get rid of that 5. But as we're about to see, you can never count that hunter out. And here comes the scavenging hyena. Release the hounds and the buzzard's already on the board. The only thing better he could have done was have the uh, timber wolf to buff the uh, animals up one more attack. But all them cards, I, I would not have lasted a long match against this guy. But, I mean, nowadays, I, I'm still trying to get cards. So nowadays, I just got to try to burn people down. Because if I go into a long match with them, they're going to have the better cards. This is a smart guy. Dat Hyena. <laughs> so here, I decided to take out the uh, Buzzard, which I just didn't want any more card draws. But I forgot about the Hyena, so that was kind of a misplay on my part. And I decided to buff the, uh, the Golem. I was thinking maybe he'd try to keep board control and go after my Golem. But instead, he... Uh, he starts looking and he, he pulls out a taunt, which it's still a good play on his part. I mean, I really had nothing for this and things didn't look too good. I had to just hope that I had some kind of damage card. But I draw Sap, which secured my vi victory and man, I'm glad I buffed that golem. And there it is for the win. Very lucky win, but... I'll take it.